All right, math leads in this last uh, video for section 5.5, uh, we're going to find a start by finding the area of the region bounded by the graphs of the equations. So we're looking at y equals e to the negative x, which is this curve going from, or bounded by y equals zero, so the x-axis, and then in between x equals zero and x equals four, so this curvy triangle shaped thing. So, when we find the area under our curve, that means we're going to use a definite integral. So we're integrating from zero to, uh, oh, that's right, there was a typo, that should be x equals three. Uh, so zero to three of our function uh, dx. So with this, we need a u sub. So u equals negative x, so the du would be negative dx. And this one is gonna be simple to switch out. Um, so let's just go ahead and switch out the bounds. So when x is zero, u is also zero. And when x is three, u is negative three. And I also need a negative inside and outside. So I can change the integrand into e to the u and then du, and then the bounds are now zero and negative three. Again, you didn't have to go this route if you didn't want to, um, but for me, it was easy to switch the bounds, so I just switched them. Okay, so integrate to e to the, or negative e to the u, and we're going from zero to negative three. So plug in the bounds. Uh, so negative e to the negative third minus the negative e to the zero. So one minus e to the negative third. Or you can flip it down to the bottom Or get a common denominator if you want that. So any of those three answers would totally work. Just be aware that if it's a multiple choice question, it could have any of these three as a solution. All right, so uh, example eight, the last one in this section. Give them the following solve for K and... <sighs> Forgot to put in where zero is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to pi. No matter how many times you edit, there's always something wrong. Uh, okay, so just, <laughs> we've got this restriction. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and integrate this or try to, so I can pull the eight out. And then I can divide uh, both sides by eight. So now the integral is by itself. And it looks like it's you could use the second fundamental theorem of calculus, but we're not going to because we're not finding the derivative of this thing. You're just integrating. So don't just replace the variable with the K and then go from there. You gotta integrate. So the integral of cosine is sine going from zero to k. So plug in the bounds. Uh, evaluate the sine of zero, that's just zero. So the left side is sine of k or sink <laughs> equals a half. So where does sine equal one half? Well, equals it in two places, pi over six and five pi over six. So we have two solutions for K. All right, that is it for section 5.5. Uh, so give the homework a shot and as always, let me know if you have questions. All right, we'll talk to you later.